Hello, if you're watching this video, you probably decided to use PrimeNG in your next project or just try to play with it. In any case, you have made a fantastic choice. So uh, getting started is quite easy. It will take a couple of minutes. First, you will need to install uh, Angular CLI. Once you have it, you should be able to use it command line like this. So the command is the engine new. Let's go to our desktop and create a new project like hello prime ng uh, it, it asks me if i need angular routing probably you will need to have a couple of pages so an answer is yes and then uh, the css preprocessor uh, it does we, we don't prime ng uses css internally but uh, the css that you'll be using is pre-compiled so you can just use whatever you want i will go with scss but as I mentioned, there is no uh, dependency on this. So let's go to the PrimeNG website. Um, the, we first need to install PrimeNG package from npm with npm install command. And then the next step would be adding the required CSS. So while uh, our project is installing the npm dependencies, uh, we might need to check out uh, the PrimeNG website and see if there's another thing. So first the npm install package, add styles, and then import the um, um, component that you use, and that will be it. So let's open uh, the project. Okay, so here we first add the styles. The theme of your choice is up to you. We have many themes like material bootstrap. So the file, can be styles, which would be my preference, but you can also use it, use the Angular JSON. So styles are there. You can choose your theme here, of course, um, with various, from various choices. So next thing is if uh, you have to make sure that PrimeNG here is here, you can use the npm command or like this. And Let's run npm install again. Okay. There's a section about the animations. Um, various components use the built-in Angular animations uh, library. So we suggest to use uh, the browser animations module defined in your app module as well. Let's, for example, there's a dialogue opening or drop down opening animation, uh, accordion menu sliding, those kind of things. So let's add animations module here as well. And finally, let's import the prime ng button. And import it as well. Okay. So I have the browser animations for the button. Do not use any animation, but probably you will use some components that have animations so that's there and then the button module the component that we'll be using and that will be it we have the styles we have the imports and let's fire this up with ng serve and we should see the boilerplate this page here okay this is the boilerplate from the sample page from angular cli uh, let's Try to find this place and add the prime ng button. Okay, here's my prime ng button here. And also, um, you can just change style class, probably style class p button secondary or success. And that seems to be working. Now you can go on with the rest of your application. As I mentioned, uh, to sum it up, uh, you have to install PrimeNG, uh, add the styles or Angular JSON style configuration. You have to install the theme of your choice and the core CSS, which is just a, a small file that consists of a couple of reusable classes and then uh, go to your module that could be app module if you're losing laser out it could be something else 
that you have to uh, import the components that you want. So this is the nice thing that you once you use Primity, you don't import the whole suite. You just import what you need to keep your bundle size small. And then you import it. And if you check out the documentation, each component has an import section that you can use, uh, how to use it, how to import it, how to use it. The various options, we have just um, revamped our documentation. Um, on the right side, you can see the types of buttons and on the API section, you can see the what types of properties are provided, uh, the events and templates and so on for uh, advanced customization. So um, that's it for now. And hopefully um, you will benefit from Prime Engineer applications and happy coding. Thank you.